Hey guys, it's Kigli again with another ROM review and this time I've got Foxhound version 1.1 for Galaxy S3 which is based on stock Samsung ROM uh, XXUGM-L2 Android 4.3 so let's get into it now Foxhound has been around for a long time uh, it's been there uh, before even Jelly Bean came out I believe now this is a really really uh, overhaul ROM this is a themed ROM stock ROM which is themed and this one is themed after KitKat so that's pretty cool uh, the lately the ROMs which are themed after AOSP based ROMs are normally themed after the Jelly Bean releases with the blue accents uh, this one is themed after KitKat so that's pretty cool now uh, let's get into the ROM now um, settings menu about device now in the about device you can see it is uh, snakes dev okay I guess he's a re really huge fan of uh, Metal Gear Solid theory so yeah Fox sound ROM you can see it is based on 4.3 uh, baseband version is that okay it is ML2 so I'm not sure if you are able to read that but the the font is a bit smaller than you would expect uh, in the aroma installer yes it does have an aroma installer it does give you an option to choose a small um, smaller font or a larger font so that's pretty cool uh, in the, the ROM is called Foxhound Diamond Dogs 1.1 pretty badass name so yeah um, let's get into the other settings now basically this is a stock ROM light stock ROM with uh, not much uh, options uh, it does have the basic functions like uh, Samsung app it does have Samsung app uh, but it doesn't have all the extra blotware which uh, no one uses so that's pretty cool uh, you can see these are all the apps with which it comes it does have a few extra apps like uh, I saw a YouTube downloader here uh, it does have a Samsung wallet uh, etc multi window manager which is pretty cool you can select what all apps you can add on the multi window so that's pretty cool uh, the main thing is these settings you, especially the FH settings menu let's go to settings and uh, access it from there now under these you can see Foxhound extras this has a lot of function first of all you have UI mods UI mods actually just uh, change the user interface such as a general mods you can have flash blink control custom flash blink LED settings so it's for the uh, flash that is the camera flash that's pretty uh, cool uh, you can actually have it uh, flash the uh, camera flash whenever you get a uh, call so if you are really really if you really want something to be uh, not missed then you can have that one so I don't see myself using it but hey it can pie controls it does have pie controls but uh, it did it is uh, causing a first close issue in mine so I don't know uh, if it would work or not but it is there under UI mods you can see other options like uh, icon changes this is pretty cool you can change each and every icon which you see now uh, the ROM comes with uh, two themes which is stock Samsung theme and the uh, AOSP theme which is KitKat but in any case if you don't want if you don't like any icons which is available you can change the icons from like this you can just select it and just decorate it okay you can cut the edges you might be able to see whatever I'm doing right so you can see that you can change the icon sizes you can uh, cut the edges you can have border colors stuff and like that or you can entirely change the icon so that's pretty cool this is an app which is embedded in the ROM so that's pretty cool uh, what else does this have now uh, custom fonts also if you want to change the font to something uh, different you can have that you can have a local font directory and you can just go there and uh, do it or you can uh, download from the font directory this is kind of like the root browser uh, the same guy who made the root browser so yeah that's pretty cool uh, C clock it does have C clock options like the Cronus clock um, so that's pretty great you can use that in um, stocks etc it does have a lot of force close issues but once you have all of these uh, set up then uh, it would be much more usable so that's pretty cool 
uh, for the next thing is uh, application settings. Now, you, it, it does have a few apps. First of all, Samsung Secret Codes. Most of these may not be relevant now, but yeah, few of them do work. So yeah, it they are there are there. Now, GPS Quick Fix. Now, uh, it it uh, specifies in the um, files that you are from this place. So these. Um, satellites will look for this code so that's pretty cool you can select wherever you're from for me i would select india and it the pool uh, the pool.ntp.org file would change to in pool so that's pretty cool uh media battery drain fix if you have a problem with the uh, media scanner running and it draining your battery you can enable this and uh, you can uh, fix that one so that's pretty cool CSE selector is uh, something if you are from a different region like Australia or some somewhere some place specific and you want a specific CSE of that place you have to you can change the CSE from here but do mind that it will wipe your phone so yeah that's pretty cool uh, advanced menu this has the expose frameworks so you have to install the expose framework first after you flash the ROM it doesn't come installed it does have per app DPI setting and a theme engine which is really a great feature uh, I have used this previously on uh, many stock ROMs and it does work pretty good um, it works with all the CM themes it changes the status bar icons and stuff not to a degree which you would expect but still it is doable now system performance now there are other options also you can see kernel controls it depends on which um, kernel you choose in the aroma installer there is there are a few options for you to choose uh, which kernel you need it is now installing the script um, if you select boifla kernel you will have boifla settings here um, this is running stock kernel so you have trickster mod which is again one of the best <laughs> uh, modding kernel modding apps available so the, the, there are a lot of options to tweak um, let's go with CPU information CPU information gives a lot of information how much uh, is your uh, phone uh, the CPU running the CPU clock speeds running at how many time and a lot of such things so that's pretty cool you have a lot all of those options here great uh, what else do we have now idle Wi-Fi time manager so you can you can uh, see how many times the Wi-Fi is being uh, connected and mobile data everything can be uh, controlled from here so that's pretty cool it does have an option these are mostly app related things so I'm not uh, much I'm not going to be um, preaching about this too much because you can have this on other ROMs with these apps too so you can have INITD support also you can activate the INITD support if you want to enable a few scripts and things so yeah it is available performance settings kind of like in the AOKP you can uh, change you can uh, overclock things with the right kernel and stuff so it's pretty cool uh, I'm not going to get into it too much so yeah this one has a script installer which you can in, uh, use to install various scripts like um, speed scripts, speed mod scripts and uh, things like that. So you can use it to install them. So that's pretty cool. Foxhound OTA. This one uh, notifies you if there is a new uh, Foxhound ROM available. It will give you a notification and to download and then things like that. So that's pretty cool. And, and at the end you have a reboot to apply certain mods so you can just click here to reboot the phone so that will give you uh, an option right here and it does have four-way reboot which is pretty cool and I really like when a ROM implements this feature so that's pretty good I'll show you guys a boot animation before I'll get into the other stuff so yeah this is the boot uh, the shutdown sound so shutdown animation is pretty cool So here is the boot animation which is really smooth and really it must be a really huge file so yeah there is an option in aroma launcher to select what boot animation you want so that's pretty cool you can see I'm using glare effect you do have the option to select a ripple effect uh, and ink effect or no effect at all so uh, there are a few options to choose from that's pretty cool it, 
right now I'm running Nova Launcher. I should have mentioned this before, but there are a few other options also. Google Experience Launcher, um, TouchWiz Launcher, modded and unmodded. So they are available. I'll show you guys in the um, boot uh, the Aroma Manager. So that's about uh, the things which are available from Foxhound S Extra. Now you have also an option called Fox ROM Control where you can change the theme you can see everything is white and everything is uh, grayish you can change the colors you can change the colors to uh, maybe white again so you it'll be white uh, ampm status don't show show small don't show day of the day uh, don't show small whatever you can customize it a lot so it gives you the same amount of customization which you will get from a CM based ROM but in a stock package so that's pretty cool it does even have a RAM bar so a battery bar so that you can uh, have the battery icon removed and just the bar there so that's pretty cool others like a traffic meter you can see the traffic meter is enabled now and it is, it is showing the traffic through the phone screen of animation something which I really like uh, I really like the fade animation and it does include the fade animation uh, now uh, as I was I have already said uh, during the setup process it might go through a lot of force close issues I had gone through a lot of force close issues but after you did uh, if you uh, after you configure everything it's going to be smooth so it's really a great ROM for those who want uh, to have all the customization ability of the custom uh, ROMs like AOSP or CM based ROM but still want the stock feel so that's pretty cool okay the unto and the benchmark scores gave me a score of 18876 which is pretty good and considering a lot the things which you have cramped into this ROM is pretty impressive um, and on stock settings too so that's pretty good so again I want to stress that enough that um, the ROM when you are first when you are at first uh, configuring everything it will give you a lot of first class issues but then after you have everything configured this is going to be a really fast ROM so that's pretty cool so uh, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.